Hello guys, welcome back to the channel. Today, I'm going to be walking you through on how we start our MEP project using the Revit Plumbing project template. We're going to be working on the model that we worked on quite recently. I'm going to open the architectural file so that you have a look at it. Couple of seconds and we'll be there. Good. So this is the project we're going to be working on. The architectural drawing is ready. All that is left now is for us to do the MEP drawing. And for this tutorial, we are going to start with the plumbing plan. From the look of things, we have three bathrooms here. One, two, and we have the powder room on this side. And we also have the kitchen area. So let's get into it. So in order to start working on this project, I'm not going to do the plumbing in this project. Okay. So the discipline here and everything is architectural. So let me show you what's going to happen if I try to do plumbing in here without changing some of the settings. So I come to my system tab and I click on pipe and I start to let's say draw a pipe probably from here okay now you see already we have an error in rivet that rivet could not find the matching pipe segment and pipe types okay so i should check the routing preferences of pipe types detail let's cancel that now all that means is when you select a pipe you come to edit type you see routing and preferences yeah so you need to edit this section in order to tell rivet that if i'm going to use a junction or an elbow or a transition this is the fitting that you should use for me now you can do all of that right in here and that will work quite fine on another video at another time i'm going to show you how to do this within your architectural project but for today I'm going to show you the best way to handle this okay so the best way to do this is to work on MEP jobs using an MEP template so let's close the architectural project let's close this no we don't want to save the changes and now watch me as we start using the MEP template so you come over to new underneath template file we are at construction template right now you're gonna click on the drop down menu and select plumbing template so each of these templates construction architectural structural mechanical system electrical and plumbing have all been created to work best in that category so if you are working on a electrical template, you would select electrical template. Okay. But today we're going to be starting with the plumbing project. Okay. So we are going to select plumbing template because it has been designed and created for that particular purpose. Let's click on OK and start the project. So create a new project, not a project template. I will teach you how to do that in another video. So for today, we are starting with a new project using the plumbing template. Okay. So now the project has been open. The first thing we want to do is we want to link our architectural project into this plumbing template project. In order to do that, we move over to insert and link rivet you're going to navigate to wherever your project is saved but to save time in this video i've already positioned it right here so you click on that tutorial project okay and you open so this is going to link 
that rivet file into this plumbing project. Now, few things to note when you are using link rivet is that any change you make to the architectural file will automatically be updated within your plumbing template environment, your plumbing project. And secondly, you do not change the location of the link file or else it is going to be disconnected from the project within, with which you link it in. Now, so the next thing we want to do now, we see that because this is a plumbing template, automatically all of our fixtures and plumbing items are coming out boldly. So the emphasis is being placed on the plumbing fixtures. Everything else is half tone. So our walls are half tone, our wardrobes are half tone, the bed and everything is half tone. Only the plumbing fixtures are coming out boldly. Okay. Now let's turn to 3D and you realize that the same thing is occurring here too. So we can see our plumbing fixtures within the building and everything else is half tone because we are working in the plumbing discipline. The plumbing discipline is found right here. If you're not sure what you are, you move over to properties, you see discipline and we have plumbing in front of it. If I turn this back to the architectural discipline, this is what we have. So it's going to function as if we are working using a construction or an architectural template. But since we are working on plumbing, we want this to be at plumbing discipline. Is that okay? Good. So let's move on. If you move over to your project browser, you see that even your navigations have been changed. So here we have your floor plans as zero plumbing, one plumbing, your elevations, east plumbing, north plumbing, south plumbing. So everything within this template is detailed to work with plumbing, which is why we use this. Now, the next thing you want to do after importing your rivet file is you need to set your levels to correspond with the levels within the architectural file. To do that, you move over to any elevation view at all. Now, in the architectural file, these are the levels we have. So ground floor level, which is one of the main levels. So we are going to move level zero to the ground floor level. I'm going to use the align tool and align the ground floor level to level zero like that and as soon as I do that you even realize that some of the fittings within the architectural file is not at the right level so this is way below this is on the ground it should not be here all the basins are on the ground they should not be there which is fine because we are not going to use the exact fittings over there I normally like to change mine in order to work with it better next we're going to align the roof level with level one. After having done that, we can now start working on our plumbing itself. So let's go back over to the zero plumbing or in other words, the ground, ground floor level. And next thing we are going to do here is we are going to import. Okay. We're going to import our own fittings that will work best with our plumbing template. You realize that even though these are boldly selected here, I can't click on them. Okay. I can't click on them. Even though they are bold, I cannot select them. So what we do is we're going to go and set our own families to replace the ones that are here. So in order to do that, you go to insert load family. And uh, for my families, they are not here. So you're going to navigate to where yours are and select them. So take a couple of seconds and do that. Nope, not here. Okay. My families are here. So I'm going to insert... Uh,
this. I'm going to insert the, this. And uh, where is the shower? Okay, yeah. And closure, yeah. Half top, yeah. Okay. I think these are fine. Let's insert this. Okay. So architecture. Let's see if they are in components. Okay. Okay. Good. So I'm now going to replace the families we have in there with our families within the MEP template. So sync vanity. Let's place that here. Good. We're also going to place it here. Okay. And lastly, here. Okay. Now, next, we're going to do for the WC. So, the water closet. There you go. Space bar. One. Two. And here. Three. Okay, the next will be the shower tray. So, the shower enclosure. Okay. So, one. Okay, there you go. Let's just add the bathtub. Okay, apparently, I may have forgotten to load that in. Oh no, we have it. It's here. Yeah, there you go. So just like that, we have replaced the families that came in first. Now you can see the difference, okay? So this is my WC that I loaded in within the plumbing template. My connectors are all active and my WC can be selected. If I hide this beneath it, I see the one that came with the architectural file. I cannot select it. I cannot use my connectors. Nothing is working over there. Which is why we replace them in the in the plumbing template. Okay, so that's good. Now you remember when we tried drawing our pipes in the architectural template, we got an error. Now let's do the same for the plumbing template and see if we're going to get an error. So system, you go to pipe. And you see, now I can draw my pipe. All the connections are in place. Just like that. So I'm no longer getting an error message for drawing my pipes. Everything is working perfectly. There you go. So because this template has already been created for plumbing, we see how smooth the operation is and how smooth drawing the pipe is. Good. So this is why we use the plumbing template in starting our rivet projects, our plumbing projects. Sorry. So if I draw a section here, and I click on my fine detail, let's hide all these levels. We hide in view category. Click on this. 100 mm out. 
we don't have a okay that's it now let me bring it forward so that later we can change it change the direction view range let's drop the depth so we can see below what's going on below 600 apply unlimited apply good so this is what we have good so we can even run this this direction to go out there you go so this is it for now this is how we start with our rivet plumbing template in the next video i'm going to show you how to create the pipe types that we created in this project so give me a second let me open that project and then i'll show you very soon so it's loading okay so next video i'm going to show you how to create this pipe type and this pipe fittings within your plumbing template for now what we have is this it's quite okay let's turn that to fine so we see what we are working with it's quite okay but this is not the best for the kind of job we are doing this is more like a copper pipe so i'm going to show you how to create our pvc pipe and our plastic pipe and our ppr pipe fittings like you see here like you have here how to do the color coding and then the pipe filter system okay so please if this video was helpful click on the thumbs up if you have any comments please leave your comments please subscribe to the channel to get more videos like this and let's stay creative and a link to this video if you haven't seen how we did this in rivet please i will leave the link to this video right after the end of this one so please click on the link and you will see someone on your screen go there watch it and see how we were able to run these pipes